Well, it's Thanksgiving. And usually on Thanksgiving, we talk about things that we are thankful for. Um, I'm thankful, I guess I could say, for all. So, things I am thankful for. I am, would say the biggest thing I'm thankful for is between now and last time I made one of these videos, things have changed. Um, I've gone through a couple of things, some that have been great, some I wish I would have done a little sooner, and some that I wish I would have never ever experienced, but there is usually a positive side to the negativity, people just have a hard time looking for it, and I'm trying to look more, or act and see the world more positive, more optimistic than what I used to be is it's not the same as I yeah, it's just I'm just trying to be more of an optimist. I I keep rambling and then I just need should just shut up and just say the freaking words. I'll just say this and it's in one second. But since the last video, um I've kind of changed careers. I'm finally getting my foot in the door in the world of education. Um, now I have a career as a substitute teacher, and I've only managed to get a couple of days in, which is the part when I said I wish I would have done it sooner, because I wish I would have done it at the beginning of when the school year started and not just now, because right now the school system's on a three-day break for Thanksgiving. But I am absolutely 100% enjoying it. I absolutely love to teach. I've taught six years for Sunday mornings and three years for Wednesday nights at my church, and it's awesome. I've enjoyed it. I've gotten to teach um, above the age and the grades that I generally teach on Sundays and Wednesdays. And I know that's where I want to go. I mean, of course, my degree that I'm going for right now in college is secondary education, focusing in uh, biology. Yeah, I, I am 100% enjoying it. I absolutely love it. I was working somewhere between now and where I was. I was working at a convenience store. I enjoyed it too, but my mistake was I transferred to a store that was closer to home. And for some reason, they couldn't seem to remember or keep it in mind that I actually do something outside of work on Wednesday mornings and sun or Sunday mornings and Wednesday nights and the hours they were trying to schedule me right before I quit was essentially going to be putting these commitments that I've had six and three years of dedication to on hold and I didn't want to do that so I left and I went to going into substitute teaching and I'm even though it's at a very rough patch right now because it they took kind of took their time in trying to get me to be on a uh, payroll and everything when I finally got hired and it's kind of just just right now It'll get better, I know it will, but I'm going like through a little bump in terms of payroll, paying off school, and things like that, to which I have almost completely finished to go right back into school and to finish my degree, which I can't wait to do. Um, you know, things, things are a lot better than where I used to be, and the biggest thing that I've ever noticed is from a 10 year fight that's been going on. And that little fight that I've talked about has been dealing with my own, myself, my depression. I don't usually talk about it or talk, speak out about it, at least not to you all, because, you know, you have your own stuff that you have to deal with. And, I mean, my family is who I talk to. They know about it. They've known about it. And they're just happy that, well, I'm, part of me thinks that they feel like that the fight's over now. I'm not going back to that 
place that I used to be when I was 14 and entering high school, it, 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 the fight against something like depression and so on, it never ends. There have been moments where I've had really, really bad moments where I just get really down, um, and so on and so forth, but I just have to remember that despite the horribleness, despite what is bad, what's happening to me that's such a negative, there is going to be a positive outcome in the end. And it's just, it's just kind of the reason why I kind of keep it to myself. Nobody really wants to talk to it, talk about it. Um, you know, it's just, my family doesn't really want to talk about it, they're, they just, they just don't know how to deal with it, how to handle it, and in reality for me, just to deal with it, is just to talk, just to talk to someone, it doesn't have, for me, it doesn't have to be someone who's professional, just talk to someone and get it out, and, you know, go through a 10 minute rant. I guess you could say I've I've done that with my grandmother and she's done it to me in return. But compared to where I used to be ten years ago, in a mental state, I am a lot better than where I was. And I'm very thankful for that. In terms of a career choice, I am an area in an area field that will help me progress. For the career that I plan on going to college, study, and graduate, and get a degree in, I am in a better place with that. Um, in terms of a physical aspect, I'm not where I wish I was, but compared to where I used to be last year, I am in a better state. It unfortunately had to require me to go through something I wish I would have never, ever, ever had to experience, but I've experienced it three times. I hate it, but it has caused me to change my diet, so to speak, to where I don't have to experience it again. Mainly it's just trying to avoid bad foods, wrong foods and try to focus on a better and healthier me and i haven't really done that i have never really focused on myself i've always focused on others i always focus on other people's pain and their sadness and i just try to help make them feel a little bit better you know it's not my job to take on people's pain and everything to make them feel better but if anything, I just want to make it clear to the people that I care about is, you know, I'm here for you. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, I will be here for you. And you don't have to go through this alone. And it's just something I want to make sure that they know. And it's not because I'm trying to force, again, I'm not trying to force them to deal with their own pain because this is again something that everyone has to go through in their life but i know with me the idea that someone is there for me someone's willing to talk to me to listen and go back and forth and just just to be there is good enough for me and i wanted to make sure that the ones that i care about know that i am there for them and you know sometimes it might get a little hard when you work all the time or when you're busy doing other things but make sure you know that there is someone there for you is just enough to get you to feel or at least to get me to feel better because I know my family's there for me I know I have friends who are there for me and overall this year I am for this Thanksgiving I am thankful for a lot of things that have gone on in my life and I can say without a doubt that compared to where I used to be 10 years ago several years ago last year when I did the last time I did one of these videos I am in a much better place mentally uh 
a little bit physically and you know and career wise I, I know I'm in a better place and I look forward to where the future is gonna be for me there are other things that I wish I was also doing but considering the fact that I don't have the career that I want before I can do those things um it's not me in a rush to get there to those certain things it, it can wait just a little longer it's it's not going to kill me to wait just a little bit longer things will happen in their own time when i'm ready but until then i'm going to try to do something that i haven't done before and that's to focus on myself know so that i am there for you that's that's the biggest message i ever want the ones that i care my family my friends the ones i love with all my heart to know is I will be there for you. But for the time being, I've kind of taken that on myself to care about everyone else's needs and not really focus on myself in any form or way. And this is not me saying I'm, I'm done making videos. I am definitely not done making videos. I absolutely love I feel like I'm in a much better place than where I used to be. And I can't wait to see what the future brings. I'm going to be 25 next year. Hooray. <laughs> so, the only thing left to say is to ask you guys what you're thankful for this year for Thanksgiving. That's really it. I hope you guys have had a great Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.